A warming trend this week, storms this weekend, and breaking news in the Space Weather Department. Let's talk about it in this Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Hi there, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It is Tuesday, the 11th of November, 2025. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to pop on in for some Texas weather information. No waiting, no hoopla, let's just get into it. And we're going to start with some breaking news this morning. A coronal, however you say it, mass ejection, CME, occurred this morning. A very strong one that was Earth-directed, and that's just all fancy and whatnot of saying, we have the potential for some auroras in parts of the United States hanging into tonight and tomorrow morning. In fact, this could be a fairly significant geomagnetic storm. Uh, last year, you probably heard several references to that. Uh, G4, G5, etc., and I'll show you the scale in a minute, but based on current data that's still being analyzed, it does appear that a rather significant geomagnetic storm is on the way to Earth and could arrive this evening and overnight here in, well, central time, uh, which if that occurs, the potential of at least a G4 certainly seems possible, and with that, the potential for northern lights to extend pretty far south in latitude. Uh, we'll see what comes of that, but that could be a fairly rapid evolution of data through today. And just for a quick reference, here's the geomagnetic storm impact scale. It goes from G1 to G5, and it looks like the potential of at least a G4 is increasing tonight here. And with that, we have seen aurora as far south as Texas, for sure, especially now with phone cameras and cameras that can pick up those low light situations. Uh, we had a couple of G4 and G5s last year, and we had auroras visible all the way down into the Rio Grande Valley in Mexico, especially with phone cameras. So that's going to be something we're going to have to watch for tonight. And we'll be posting updates frequently on social media, but Heads up, uh, may have to go take a look outside tonight. Now, let's see how we're looking in cloud cover department. Here's the high-res rapid refresh model for today, tonight. We could have some upper-level clouds, Panhandle West Texas, down to the Permian Basin overnight. Maybe some in the deep south Texas area. Otherwise, the remainder of Texas looking clear skies. So if we do have any auroras popping up, well, we should be able to see them without weather issues. Now, going into Wednesday, we're going to see upper-level clouds start to increase across the state. Most of that will be cirrus clouds letting sunlight through, so it's not going to be a super-duper cloudy day. Uh, winds overall, today, tomorrow, we're generally looking out of the south-southeast. Uh, going into Thursday morning, the potential for locally dense fog. Hill country, central Texas, southeast Texas, and east Texas, as we start to see moisture levels increase, from the Gulf. Now, let's pop into the wildfire outlook. Today, we could have very high fire danger across a large chunk of the state of Texas, especially North Texas, Northeast Texas, through the big country, the Concho Valley, the Hill Country, down into Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, and Southeast Texas. That just means if we do have any wildfires, grass fires, brush fires develop, they will have the potential to spread quickly and require supplemental resources to control and contain. Heading into Wednesday and Thursday, fire danger moderate to high across the state of Texas. So today, looking to be the busiest fire day over the next three. Taking a look at the long range from the European Weather Model Ensemble, you're looking at jet stream winds around 18,500 feet above sea level. Over the next week, and we are going to have a storm system digging down into the southern United States this weekend, and that could bring our next chance of precipitation to parts of Texas, heading into Saturday night and Sunday, maybe into Monday morning, depending on the timing of that. And that timing still needs to be worked out. We will see shifts over the next few days as model data generally comes into an agreement on the specifics of the system. Temperature-wise, over the next few days, we're starting a warming trend now after a fairly cool yesterday. Uh, it was definitely chilly. Uh, we're looking at highs today, 60s northeast Texas, east Texas, with 70s and 80s everywhere else across Texas. So definitely nice for 
mid-November. On Wednesday, back into the upper 80s, South Texas, the Rio Grande Plains and the Rio Grande Valley, the Big Bend of Texas. We're looking to low to mid-80s across the hill country, Concho Valley, Central Texas, Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas, into the Trans-Pecos. Everyone else, highs in the 70s. 80s move north on Thursday, up into North Texas, Northwest Texas, the Cap Rock, on the West Texas, and the Permian Basin. Low 90s in South Texas. On Friday, mid-80s return. Big Country, Northwest Texas. Again, up there for mid-November, that's for sure. So mostly 80s across Texas for highs on Friday. And then on Saturday, 90s. South Texas, the Rio Grande Plains. We're looking at 90 in Laredo and McAllen. About 85 in San Antonio, 83 in Houston, over to Austin, 81 DFW up to Vernon, 74 in Amarillo, 76 in Lubbock, 78 in Odessa Midland. We're looking at 82 in Fort Stockton, 72 out in the borderland of far west Texas in El Paso, 79 in Texarkana, down to Beaumont. Long range outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Above average temperatures. Continue to look plausible, hang into the third, well, second week of November at least, 16th through 20th, with maybe some cooler air trying to filter in into far west Texas. We'll see how that evolves. Precipitation chances, though, across the entire continental United States actually looking decent heading through next week. So we'll see what evolves from that, but you know what? It's better than... No rain at all. That's it for your Texas Weather Roundup on this Tuesday. Again, we'll be keeping a close eye on the Space Weather Department and post updates as we see them in the Aurora Department. But again, could see some northern lights heading into tonight across several parts of the United States and, yes, even perhaps the state of Texas. So we'll be keeping an eye out as I assume many of you will as well. We'll be back on Wednesday with your next edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Until then, have an amazing day, and God bless.